Hello people, and welcome back to part 23 of the City of Skylines build guide. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Before we start today's episode, a huge, huge thank you for 200 subscribers. I think actually at the time of recording, we are at 203, I think, which is crazy. It was like literally three or four weeks ago we were celebrating 100, and um, yeah, just a huge thank you for everyone that's subscribed. It really means a lot to me. And uh, you guys, from your comments anyway, seem to be enjoying this series quite a lot. So uh, thank you so much. And, uh, and how about this transport interchange? It is, uh, it is a busy one today. Uh, really, really liking the way this turned out. And you guys enjoyed it as well. And, uh, you know, it's going to get even busier when more train lines are hooked up in here. Don't forget, we've also still got to do the bus lines and the tram lines as well. Uh, this thing will become pretty busy indeed uh, once everything is hooked up into it. And behind us lies a big zone of residential. So alongside our main road here, obviously we have these two big one-way roads heading through the city centre. I've just started experimenting with some residential layouts. Uh, so these things won't be final. Um, you know, I'm just kind of experimenting with different layouts yet. Uh, we can see when we click on them, they still have a long way to level up. Uh, so it's definitely... Um, not the way it's going to finish because don't forget you know when a building levels up it's going to change in its appearance and um, but i think kind of as you're driving through the city you know to come across these big high-rise blocks of flats is um it's okay i think i think it's maybe too dense if that makes sense um i'll probably rework this but i just wanted to kind of get a big spike of population uh, and just kind of have one of these squares filled out. It's obviously, you know, this is horrible. We have a lot of uh, off-angle green space, so it's definitely not going to be the finished product. But um, it's certainly on its way, I think, to being um, to being placed in the city. It's a little bit commercial on the front here as well. But, uh, you know, definitely, unless you're a kind of fan of this real high-stacked, uh, very dense urban environment, you can see there's a building change in here. Uh, then, you know, I'm not a massive fan of this, but I just wanted to kind of play around with it anyway. Uh, but we will definitely uh, be focusing on uh, a episode of residential expansion uh, within the downtown sphere and how you can make it look uh, nice. But for right now, you know, that's going to serve us a job of just getting some uh, pedestrians in. You may also notice that the road layout has changed ever so slightly. Uh, so previously this road here, uh, I think this still needs to be uh, reworked, does it? Is that the, uh, oh yeah, this is the, um, let's go ahead and drag this one over here. If I can do it, come on. Is he not hooked up all the way? He should be. Let's delete that stop. Okay, let's rework this line. So anyway, uh, well it's probably because this guy's lost power as well. Uh, let's just bring him uh, temporarily into the grid. Uh, let's hook him up there, just to make sure. So the monorail line, before I destroyed it, was actually working uh, really quite nicely. And uh, he should hook into the power, thank you very much, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's just redraw this monorail line. Uh, so it goes from here, and it comes down the main road. Uh, he's going to stop here, and then continue over here. And then down here, and then back down into the transport hub, where he's going to complete his line. So, I wanted to kind of work today on a big entertainment centre that's going to reside fairly close to the transport hub. Um, so people can kind of come and go in the city as they please uh, and obviously these things there's also a lot of people looking at the city arch uh, which is hanging over the road <laughs> getting some uh, pictures of the concrete it's very strange indeed uh, so the road here came up like this and then joined up with this road and then connected back there so I just kind of knocked everything back uh, another couple of like city blocks uh, just to try and give ourselves a little bit more room uh, for this entertainment center that we're going to be working on today. 
And um, I think they should be okay. And what I mean by entertainment centre is kind of a collection of buildings from the unique buildings options and the varsity sports buildings as well. So kind of the kingpin of this and the real main focus is going to be our American football stadium. And this thing is an absolute monster. Uh, so let's kind of have a little look uh, at where we could place this in. And we've also elevated uh, this highway road, uh, which looks really sweet heading between the houses. Uh, and also over the monorail. So we're just kind of looking at this. You know, It gives it that very stacked uh, city feel. There's a lot of different kind of like bypasses and highways passing through. Uh, and we have again a, just the one person using it. But obviously when uh, there is more zoning over here, uh, people will have more cause to use uh, this kind of city slip road that uh, moves through the city. Okay. So I think we're going to kind of hook this guy up. Let's see if we can get... A road through here. Okay, I think that'll work uh, quite nicely. Let's go ahead and place in kind of the heart and soul, which is going to be uh, the American Football Stadium. Uh, so when you place this, you can see again it has um, a big green entertainment circle, which is going to affect all the people within that radius, and it also has uh, a nasty red orange circle uh, within it. Obviously, that is going to be producing a hell of a lot of noise. Uh, these people here are just about on the edge of it, so they should be okay. And since I'm going to redesign that point anyway, I'll probably just leave them uh, within the radius. We shouldn't have to move them out. Uh, so let's go for about... So let's actually bring in a little one-way road here. Uh, let's go for here. And then let's go out by 21. And the reason I'm doing 21 is because I'm pretty sure that this thing... No, it was actually 20. My mistake. So let's come out to there. And then this guy should sit fairly equally in the middle. There we go. Okay. So 230,000 to place this thing. And there we go. It is uh, quite the building. It is enormous. Uh, but anyway, this thing has a number of policies, including free public transport on match days, extra security, and kind of a youth development program. Now, obviously, we have covered the aquatic center and the baseball park before uh, elsewhere in the city. You can see those two uh, highlighted over here. Uh, but, you know, you can't know how they work. If you place them within a campus area, it will become the uh, university team uh, plays at that stadium. Uh, but for right now, this one's just going to be by itself. And uh, hopefully we'll have a few uh, good results coming our way. So that relies, well, it lies pretty nicely within the city, I think. Let's go look at this thing. Uh, obviously, this came with a campus expansion for anyone wondering. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking, you know, when you see a stadium kind of in a city, they have their um, some kind of training uh, facility nearby. Uh, that could be either kind of youth or where the, the team actually trains. And uh, I think we can actually go for uh, the track and field stadium here. So I want to go ahead and place this in. Almost as kind of like a little training field. Okay, so we're a little bit too close there, aren't we? Okay, let's go for removing this highway temporarily. Uh, and we'll probably have to rework that in, but we will be able to bring it in. Let's go for a nice little symmetry here. So we came up by 360. Again, we'll just keep that one way system flowing. Uh, and then we'll place in the uh, track and field stadium. And again, that's going to fit perfectly symmetrical uh, between the two. Okay. Ready? A nice little. Uh, bird's eye view going on here. So how's it looking driving from the highway? You've obviously got this really big important thing over here. And then from over this side, especially looking from the monorails, actually this uh, should be uh, sinking in now. Yes it is. So you can delete the power lines. It's wonderful news. Okay. There's a helicopter here as well. So excellent. So again, same thing. Free match day tickets. Uh, I'm going to actually raise the ticket price 
uh, of both the stadiums uh, because I feel it's kind of appropriate to have quite expensive tickets uh, to go and kind of watch the game. Um, I think that'd be quite cool. This guy's complaining he's not being hooked in. Okay, that's because he wasn't actually uh, hooked in. Okay, it's hooking back up temporarily, but uh, he will sink back up eventually. Okay, so we kind of have these two big buildings in here now as kind of the soul of what I want him to do. Um, so if we have a look at our unique buildings now, there's a couple of buildings here that also kind of contribute to that entertainment expo um, core of the city. Um, I'm just trying to browse through now and find them. Uh, there's the Opera House, which could also be a good shout. Don't think we're going to place that here though. Uh, the other kind of two buildings I was looking at was the Expo Centre and the Aquarium. And uh, probably not the high interest tower. We'll save that for our financial district, I think. That's quite obviously a big, important building. And also at uh, the Science Centre uh, is a fairly impressive beast as well. Okay, guys, sorry about that quick cut. I just had to run off and uh, grab my dinner. Uh, we had some chilli, which was uh, wonderful, both tasty and delicious. So, let's continue our entertainment centre and kind of figure out what else we can place in here. So we were talking about the expo centre uh, and the aquarium, which I think are going to fit in really nicely uh, within this kind of awkward shape uh, that we have to work with here due to the uh, the highway bending around. I do have a couple... Oh, no, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, I was just about to say we have a couple of stray rocks um, kind of milling around here. There we go. Let's kind of delete these. There we go. Obviously, you don't want a rock within the middle of the road. All right, so let's have a look what we want to play with. So with the road coming out here, I'm pretty sure. See if we can get a road in there. And then right up alongside the stadium with another Floating rock. Can't quite get rid of him. No, nope, it's fine. Ignore it. <laughs> Just move on. Okay, let's see the closest place we can uh, snap in to behind the stadium here. Okay, I think we'll leave a little bit of room. Uh, although we can't leave too much because... We will have to uh, place this expo centre somewhere. Let's go for there right now. And then bring this up at a 90 degree angle if possible. There we go. And change the direction. Okay, let's see if we can get this in. Uh, so expo centre is here. Let's see. Uh, let's leave a little bit of room for a path to come through. I think there should be okay. That's a pretty uh, cool looking building. So right now we'll just go ahead and place it in the frame uh, of how we want this area to look. And then we can do detailing around it. And we'll probably do something similar with a time lapse. Uh, like I went ahead and uh, dealt with the, uh, the transport hub over here. Uh, we'll see. Let's have a look at look, 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 a quick browse at the monorail line. A few people using it so far. It's not too bad, obviously. When there's more people here to use it, then uh, they will use it anyway. Okay. I'm actually wondering whether we should bring a monorail line and have a station right here. I wonder, I'll probably do that on a time lapse rather than me building it right now. Uh, okay. So, let's carry on. Uh, what was the other building we wanted? Uh, it was the aquarium. I don't think there's anything else suited here. There's an observation tower. Uh, I'll probably save this for the nightlife uh, block. I don't, we don't really want this next to the residences. Uh, we'll have that in our nightlife sector. So just a brief touch on what I'm planning to do. <clears throat> uh, within the downtown, we are going to kind of focus uh, each block, if you like, uh, kind of this section here, and then this one, these four here. 
Uh, I want these to kind of focus on different aspects. So we're, we're going to do like a financial district. Uh, obviously, we're doing the entertainment center now. We have the transport hub. Uh, there'll be a residential sector and a nightlife sector. So just kind of using unique buildings to uh, decorate and flesh those out and also applying policies as well. Um, oh, perfect. It fits in perfect. Uh, but I don't want to place it here because this is going to force a load of traffic to spill out onto this road, um, which is not what I want to do. Uh, so let's have a look where this comes out to. Okay. So we'll place it in. And then I'm going to draw in the road. Uh, let's bring this guy out as close as we can get it. There we go. That's nice and snug. It's actually a little bit too far for what I needed. And again. Okay. Uh, let's bring him as close to the back of the entertainment centre as we can get him. And that's going to work in quite nicely, I think. Uh, we can delete these now. Yes, we can. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, obviously, we need to make this word a two-way. Uh, people can come in and out of this direction. Okay. So he is still complaining of no power. That's fine. We can link him up with some different bits. All right. Let's have a look at this thing here. So that looks really important. It's nice and snug to the street corner. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice design on the rooftop, too. Uh, I'm a fan of that building. Uh, of course, we need to turn it around. Don't forget that. There we go. So now the front doors uh, and the entrance to the building are facing the front. And that means that everyone is going to uh, kind of pour out of this direction. Uh, and then they can take whichever route they want. There's also a uh, monorail station here as well. So that's going to help those guys. So delete that road for right now. I'm not sure what I want to do with that just yet. Uh, okay, let's have a little scroll through. See what else we can possibly place in here. I think that'll probably be it. Uh, the Modern Art Museum. Uh, probably won't. No, it's not really for here, I don't think. Uh, we've also got the Cathedral. And uh, there is actually another smaller stadium here. I wonder if we can work this in anywhere. I think we'll be kind of forcing it in at this point. Uh, let's have a let's place it here and see how it looks. Hmm. Let me see. I'm not really sure about that. Maybe we can afford to keep it in. I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think of the stadium here. Uh, for a general rule of thumb with City Skylines, if I don't like it when I first place it, then uh, I'm probably not going to like it full stop. I just want to kind of bring this out uh, to a symmetrical point if I can. There we go. Let's hook that up. So I think it looks all right up against the road here. Got some nice big important buildings here, but obviously we've got all these empty green spaces uh, that we need to fill in. So, uh, look at all these people in big droves heading down to the stadium, which they all are. And uh, over to the track and field stadium as well. So we're creating a lot of pedestrian foot traffic, so there's two ways we can resolve that. We can either give them public transport uh, to the, the stadium, or we can give them... Uh, pedestrian footpaths, uh, which is what I think we will do. Um, I'm just going to delete the... No, we'll keep it in for right now, actually. Uh, let's come down to our footpaths and give these guys uh, some walkways. So this should be enough to cross the road. Yes, it is. Um, we can actually come in front of the... Uh, The, uh, the city arch as well, which is handy. Let's bring him down to connect up to there. And again, we'll have this guy come all the way along. 
and I'll call it to here. And then let's get him on a nice curve. Down to there. So again, we should see when the AI reads that, that will be their preferred path as opposed to clogging up the roads. And we can also give them one head in this direction. Let's get some nice little cross patterns going on here. Uh, curve down here, maybe? Let's bring him down. And so he will connect up to there. Okay, that's going to be our position to what way you can see some of them using it now. And now let's have a look at them heading back. Okay. Uh, I also placed in a police and fire station here, uh, just on the crossroads of the city entrance. Uh, oh, I forgot to cover this. <laughs> yeah, we redesigned the highway. This was at the start of the episode, my bad. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, we just redesigned it. It's a real simple, you know, raised uh, roundabout uh, with a turnaround here in the middle. This is what this road is, so they can switch to the other side of the highway. Uh, they enter and exit on, two different paths into the city, uh, and then a slip road, uh, which takes them into the south side. <sighs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Um, okay, let's have a little look here. Uh, let's go ahead and make this road uh, just a regular one way. And let's bring him out up to here. Now, I don't want to connect him to the road. And I'm thinking if we come into our city park stuff and then look at other parks, uh, we have the baseball, uh, basketball court. I'm thinking if we squeeze a few of these in. How many blocks over are we there? Can I... Get this guy to move up a couple of blocks. See if we can get one more in. Yes, we can. So again, these are almost like little training fields. Um, even though this is American football, but uh, you know we are playing without downloadable assets, so you have to kind of improvise and uh, make things your own in the vanilla, I suppose. Uh, okay, let's have a look at some more um, paths along here. Uh, for these guys to join up with. So wonder, can we uh, squeeze under here? No, not without demolishing that, but I'm guessing we can go uh, from right here. Right underneath. And then in a big straight line. Let's actually delete that and then come from here so we know we're uh, as straight as possible and then link him up like that. Uh, and then we'll also have a couple of paths going down here. So again, you can see now how many people are starting to use this. Just uh, giving them a lot more ways to get around the city as opposed to clogging up the roads by using the pedestrian crossings. Uh, this place is already starting to look really busy and really cool. I'm uh, liking it a lot. Uh, the city arch definitely needs to be moved now. Uh, because it's kind of been blocked by the highway, although at the minute it is sinking power between the two sides, so we'll leave it there just for the moment. People are dying at the stadium, unfortunately. Uh, maybe they're balking at the ticket prices. Who knows? Okay, let's draw in some little paths uh, along this main road here. I imagine we should be able to squeeze in and probably going to have to turn snapping off for... Uh, being this close to the road. So there was a little sweet spot just there. There we go. And there as well. Okay. Okay, we'll just keep it as tight in as we can. There we go. It's just going to create a nice little border uh, between us and the entertainment center. Uh, let's hook him up to there as well. Uh, and then we've got a nice little uh, spot here. Oh, and we hit Colossal City. Wonderful. We unlocked the new spot. 
a floating cafe nuclear power plant cargo hub and the ocean thermal energy conversion plant that's going to be really fun to play with uh, we can also do our nuclear complex now as well uh, not definitely I don't know let me guys know um obviously we have a lot of new subscribers since friendwood finished the old let's play and um, we made a really cool looking nuclear complex let me know if you guys want to see that in a time lapse or uh, the start of next episode maybe we can do that because yeah, I'm guessing yeah we've still got a lot of power but uh, it'll be good to have the nuclear stuff in there already well how much money is coming in a week uh, right now 85,000 guessing this is because yeah we've had um, a couple of games here so 42,000 made from that game and has the track and field had one as well no not quite but uh, and look at this crazy so this is exactly what I was talking about. So many people come to the stadium assets. They produce huge amounts of traffic. Uh, so, you know, if you don't have them, um, if you don't give them a way to move around the city, then, uh, you know, you can imagine all these people uh, crossing roads and in the cars are really going to slow your traffic down. Just look how many are coming along this walkway right now. I think it's really cool, you know. Walking up alongside the stadium on the way to the big game. It's all very exciting, isn't it? Um, well, let me know. Are you guys interested in any sports? I would, uh, I would love to find out if we have any fellow Manchester United fans watching. <laughs> we are a dying breed at the moment. But uh, anyway, we won't talk too much about sports because I know a lot of people don't really like it. Uh, okay. So I think these unique buildings. Uh, we do have a software development studio. But again, this will be saved for kind of the techie part. Uh, alongside the television station as well. I think we do have this stadium, the football stadium. Mm, not sure about that. And then uh, we have the winter market as well. Okay, but I think it's a general outline. Uh, that should do rather nicely. I uh, haven't done much over here, have we? Uh, to kind of lead this quite leafy and uh, just pop a few trees in around here. But either way, either way guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys into a time lapse now of just doing some tidying up decorating to make these things look a little more interesting. Okay, it's not going to be, uh, again, look at the people, man. Crazy. Crazy amounts of people. Okay, time lapse time, guys. Let's, uh, let's tidy this place up a little bit.
Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much. If you didn't enjoy this episode, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. This area turned out quite nicely. I am enjoying it. Still touch more detailing to do, but I'll do that off camera rather than forcing you guys to sit through that again. There was an enormous fire again whilst I was building this, so I had to wait for everything to regrow. Uh, before filming this little outro lapse, um, which is a bit of a running joke in this series for the new people. Again, thank you for everyone that has subscribed recently. You guys have been smashing the comments, and the comments have been so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm really glad you are enjoying it. Any ideas or suggestions for this area, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Well, that's enough from me. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. Yet if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or see is but a dream within a dream.